What's up guys, I'm going to do another Call of Duty video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and how to play Call of Duty World at War on your Xbox One. So there's two ways of doing this, and this depends on whether you have purchased the game digitally or physically. So if you have a disc, or if you've just bought it through the Xbox Live Marketplace. So if you have a disc, you'll just need to insert that into your Xbox One console. And you should get a little prompt that says that you need to update this game for your Xbox One. And it should take up about 7 gigabytes of space. Once you accept that, it'll be automatically added to your download section of your My Games and Apps, and it'll start downloading that. And once it gets done downloading, you can play the game, but, so if you have any of the DLC for the game, all you have to do is press start on the game, go down to manage game, and then you'll just need to go over to the ready to install section and install any of the DLC that you have purchased for the game, and it'll be all there waiting for you. So if you need to download any of it, any of the map packs, if you want to play some of the zombies maps or anything like that, it'll be sitting there waiting for you. So that's pretty much all there is to it. If you bought it digitally, you'll just need to go into your ready to install section of your My Games and Apps, and then just find Call of Duty World at War on there, and then just install it like you would any other digital game. There you guys go. I have some other videos on my channel, some gameplay of it, and just other videos about Xbox One's backwards compatibility. I'm glad the World of War is backwards compatible. Just last week we got Call of Duty 3, so we now have four Call of Duty titles that are backwards compatible. Call of Duty 2, Call of Duty 3, World of War, and Black Ops 1. I really want Black Ops 2 to become backwards compatible, but who knows when that'll be. But stay tuned to my channel if we have any more information about this, I'll be sure to let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.